No sé qué era nada, no sé qué era confundir. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new, my name is Lorraine Masia Ponera. I'm your self-appointed scholarships mentor. And so, um, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like it. If, um, if you are my detaining subscribers, thank you so much for coming again and again. I am here because you are here. So this video is for people who want to do masters or PhD in France. And if you are from Malawi, Lesotho, or South Africa, these three countries, this video is for you. Okay? So without wasting much of your time, let's dive deep into it. Okay, so this is called Flange South Africa Scholarship Program. But like I said, it's not just uh, South Africa, as we'll see in the moment, in a, in a moment. Um, it says the 2024 call for applications is now open. The deadline for final submission is 16 October at midnight. A minute to midnight. The Florence South Africa Scholarship Program is directed to South African students who intend to study in universities of universities or higher education institutions in France for their master's degree or PhD. The program is also open to students from Lesotho and Malawi, okay? So, please take note of the website, www.southafrica-france-scholarships.com. Take note of it because it will not appear in the chart, okay? Things like this is... um a bonus for people who watch videos, okay? So that's the website. I'll repeat, www.southafrica-france-scholarships.com, okay? The next call for application is open for students who intend to start their studies in France in September 2024. Applicants will be contacted individually as needed. The list of the laureates and the waiting list will be announced according to the indicated timeline. Follow-up requests by applicants will not be answered due to the differences between the Southern and yada, yada, yada. Let's look for, okay. Applicants are invited to carefully read the rule book. So let's check this rule book, rule book, because if there are rules somewhere, we need to be aware of what are they. But also you need to read frequently ask questions if they are not included in the rule book. And then we have the timeline here, which talks about what happens when. Hmm? Interviews for eligible candidates in November. A series of webinars in June. This already happened because they wanted to recruit people so people can apply. This already happened. But as far as we know, they're running 16th of October, so you still have time to apply because today is only August 18, so you still have two months to apply. Results will be early December 2023. A specific program in South Africa, online French courses and possibly an internship between February and July 2024, departure to France in September. Applicants and scholarship laureates will be contacted individually when needed due to high number of applications. Full applicants by candidate will not be answered. Committee's deliberations are beyond dispute. Okay, so let's look at the rule book. What are the rules? Okay. Like, yeah, this is same what we just read for masters or PhD. Also open for students from Malawi and Lesotho. Um, the core is open to all fields of study, okay? I'm skipping some of this stuff because you will read it. To be eligible for the France South Africa Scholarship Program, applicants must be born on or after 1st of January 1994. 
So you will be about 30 years next year when we are going to France. A six, maybe, is it 30 or 31? 30 maybe, yeah. A citizen of South Africa, Risotto or Malawi, enrolled in a French higher education institution in due time to pursue a master's or a PhD. The scholarship is granted for a given period to be spent in France, matching the necessary time required to obtain the degree. For master's degree, the scholarship will be granted for a duration of 10 to 22 months. Master's degree programs are two years long. In some specific cases, bachelor's degree with honors, for example, students may consider applying directly to M2, yada, yada. For PhDs, read all these rules. A full scholarship by the Embassy of France will include the status of a France Excellency Scholarship holder, which includes the social security, priority for accessing student housing, visa fee exemption, and assistance offered by Campus France. Paris 10 flight ticket to France, a monthly allowance of 850 euros for master's students and 1.4 euros for PhD students, additional individualized accommodation aid approximately 150 euros per month can be obtained from the French government via the CAF. In the, in the second scheme, of course, yada, yada, yada. Let's look at application. The application file is submitted online only. It must include a complete application form online, a passport copy. This is a like a first page of your passport. An up-to-date resume that also states the candidate's entire academic history, a cover letter explaining motivational and interest in the planned academic project. Your motivation, what is your motive? A cover letter explaining motivations and interests in the plan. Okay. So what is your motivation for applying for this scholarship? Usually motivation, you look around academic motivations, personal motivation, professional motivation, and things like that. Okay, university transcripts, at least two years of studies. For master's level, for PhD, please read all of those. Then they go ahead to do the selection process, how they're going to do it. You need to read A, B, C, D, E, F, G, to Z. Apply now online. They apply now online. After you've read everything, apply now online. They still talk about the rules. We just read the rule book. And apply online only, deadline in October. You come here, create account first, then later on you can log in, okay? If you have any questions, let me stop share. If you have any questions about this, um, I mean, not technical questions, but general questions. If it's technical questions, you ask the scholarship itself because yeah, nobody would know the technical questions about this scholarship. But if it's general questions, like, okay, so how, uh, what should I include in my this or my the other? Usually they frequently ask questions will have the information, but there are something that uh, some of us or some of the people that will comment on your question have experience, have gone through similar processes so they can help you. So just stick your questions in the chat as long as they're just general questions, not specific about the scholarship, then we can see how we can support each other. So thanks for watching this. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the video and I hope you will apply because you still have two months to apply, but you need to start now. Okay, enough of me talking now. I say, get a nala, get a concune, get a comage, get a baboon. Okay, so please remember to watch this and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you.